Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1091, shortest path in binary matrix. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have taken the second example from the Lakewood website. So here we are given a binary matrix which consists of 0 and 1. And here 0 represents a path and 1 represents a block, right? One is like an obstacle, right? And we need to find a path from top left corner to the bottom right corner. And we need to check whether we have a clear path or not. So a clear path should be connected by zeros, right? So in this case, it's all connected with zeros. So which means there is a path exist. And if there is no path exist, we need to return negative one, right? So we need to start from top left cell and we can visit the adjacent cells in eight directions. So the eight directions are something like this, right? So these are my eight directions. And I'm going to solve this problem using BFS approach. So initially, I will make the first, the top left corner cell as one which means I have visited that cell, right? And I will store the row and column of that particular cell in a queue. So here zero and zero represents the row and column of the top left corner cell, right? And I will be initializing it with one. So the one represents there was a path here. Since there was zero, which means there is one path. So now we need to start visiting the adjacent cells from this particular cell. So since these two cells are blocked, we don't have to visit them. We only visit when there is a zero exist, when there is a path. So initially, we are going to start from zero and zero, right? That is zero row and zero column cell. And the distance of this particular cell is 1 that we initialized here. So from this cell, we are going to visit the adjacent cell that is 0 and 1. That is 0 through and first column is 0. Since it is 0, we will make this as 1 which means we have visited this cell. And I will append that particular cell's row and column and I will add the distance as well. I will use the previously seen distance that is 1 and I will increase it by 1. So I'm going to get 2 here. So far we have covered a distance of 2, right? I will append that particular cell row and column indices and the distance covered so far in the queue. So I will run this loop until I finish all my values in my queue. So I have seen these values in the queue. Now I need to see this value. So now we are going to start from 0 through and the first column cell. So our i will be 0 and j will be 1 and distance will be so this is nothing but the zero row and first column indices, right? That we appended in the queue. So we will use queue to visit each and every adjacent cell, right? So in this case, we have zero row and first column and the distance is two. So we are going to visit the next adjacent cells from this cell, right? We need to visit all eight directions. So here, there are blocks, since there are ones, we don't have to visit them. We only care about these two cells, right? Since that are the clear paths here. So now I will visit this particular cell, right? Which is nothing but zero row and second column. And the distance is three. The reason why it is three is the previously seen distance is two. The distance from this particular cell is 2. So we will add 1. So it becomes 3, right? So we will append this one in the queue. 
so there will be 0 2 and 3 then I will make this particular cell as 1 which means I have visited that particular cell then from this cell I can visit this particular cell I can visit in eight directions so I can visit this particular cell as well so this particular cells row is 1 and column is 2 and the distance is 3 again from this cell the distance is 2 and I will increase it by 1 which will be 3 then I will append this to my queue so here we will be getting 1 2 and 3 then I will make this cell as 1 so now I have visited all the clear paths from this cell right I cannot visit any more cells from this cell so I will return to the queue I will pick the next set of values so I will pick 0 2 and 3 so I will be 0 j will be 2 the distance is 3 right so which is nothing but 0 throw second column so we will be here now so from this one I cannot visit any other clear paths right there are no zeros adjacent to this cell so we don't have to visit any other cell so we will pick the next set of values from the queue which is nothing but 1 2 and distance is 3 so first row and second column which is nothing but this particular cell and from this cell I can visit this particular path that is the bottom right path so the row will be 2 and the column will be 2 so and the distance will be 4 from this cell the distance is 3 and I will increase it by 1 so it will be 4 and I will append this to the queue right so there will be 2 2 and 4 then I will make this cell as 1 since there are no any other paths we don't have to visit any other cells then we return to the queue and pick the rows and columns 2 and 2 and the distance 4 from the queue so whenever I pick values from the queue I will check whether I have reached the bottom right or not I will use this row and column indices to check whether I have reached this particular bottom right corner or not since I have reached now I will just return the distance 4 that is the shortest path in my binary matrix right that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future now also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so here n represents the length of the grid so initially I will check if the top left and bottom right corners are one or not if it is one which means they are already blocked so there is no path exist so I will just directly return negative one right then I will be creating a queue where I will initialize with the row zero row and zero column indices and with a distance of one and I will make the zero row the top left corner value as one which means I have visited that cell right so here I'm writing a for loop where I will pick each and every values from the queue so the rows and indices are i and j and the distance of that from that particular cell is d then I'm checking whether I reach the bottom right corner or not if I have reached the bottom right corner I will just return the distance d right then I'm creating the eight directions here then I will start visiting all eight directions from the currently picked cell from the queue and if it is zero I will make that particular cell as one then I will append that particular cell to the queue and I will increase the distance by one for that particular cell right and if there is no clear path this exist I will be returning negative one as my answer right that's how the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.